good day everyone! Our group was tasked to make a flyer about identifying disorders and diseases that result from the malfunction of the cell during the cell cycle. I am Amanda. And I am Krista. We will present the disorders and diseases that result from the malfunction of the cell during the cell cycle. But first, what is cell cycle? Cell cycle is the process through which a cell divides into two daughter cells. It is the most important process in the growth of an organism but errors during the process may lead to disorders and diseases. Many Filipinos to this day believe that what you eat and crave for during pregnancy or in the Filipino term, paglilinghi, has a direct influence on the physical attributes of the baby. Pregnancy cravings can be used by a number of things, including hormones, a heightened sense of smell and taste, and nutritional deficiency. This has nothing to do with the disorders of a child. However, Eating too much unhealthy craving foods, such as sweets and junk foods, can cause excessive weight gain and might impact the health and development of the mother and the child. Truthfully, these physical features are caused by chromosomal abnormalities, a birth defect also known as a congenital disorder. It's a condition that happens during cell cycle and development of the fetus and are present at birth regardless of its cause. Birth defects may result in disabilities that may be physical, intellectual, or the development. These common birth defects are cleft lip, anophthalmia, congenital heart defects, aphosageal atresia, or Down syndrome. Birth defects may result from genetic or chromosomal disorders, exposure to certain medication or chemicals, or certain infections during pregnancy. In conclusion, food cravings during pregnancy don't affect the physical attributes of a baby. It is only a pregnancy myth. Physical attributes are inherited from our parents and grandparents out of genes and not from food cravings. Here are some defects that we will explain to you. Cleft lip occurs if the tissue that makes up the lip does not join completely before birth. This results in an opening in the upper lip. While the cleft palate occurs if the tissue that makes up the roof of the mouth does not join together completely during pregnancy. Down syndrome is a condition in which a child is born with an extra copy of their 21st chromosome, hence its other name, trisomy 21. This extra copy changes how the baby's body and brain develop, which can cause both mental and physical challenges for the baby. Down syndrome might happen when none disjunction occurs during meiosis. Turner syndrome is a genetic disorder seen in girls that causes them to be shorter than others and to not mature sexually as they grow into adulthood. The severity of these problems varies among affected individuals. Other health problems may also be present involving the heart or renal system, example kidneys. Many problems affecting girls with Turner syndromes can be managed or corrected with appropriate medical treatment. Turner syndrome occurs in 1 in 2,500 female born. Trisomy 13 is also called Pateau syndrome, named after the physician who first described the disorder. Trisomy 13 is seen in about 1 in 7,500 to 1 in 10,000 birth. Feed shot or cut cry syndrome is found in approximately 50 to 60 children each year born in the United States. Either shot is caused by a deletion of chromosome 5 B. Babies with Greedy shot have a high pitched cry, poor muscle tone, and a small head size and low birth weight. They also have problems with language, 
where they may express themselves by using a small number of words or sign language. Other health problems can be present including delays in walking, problems in feeding, hyperactivity, scoliosis, and severe mental, mental retardation. Most pe people with Credoshack will have a normal lifespan unless they are born with serious organ defects. Polystic Lian syndrome is a result of taxonomic of chromosome material. There is usually a mixture of cells or mosaicism, some with excerpt number 12 material, and some that are normal with 4 to 6 chromosomes without the extra number 12 material. Babies with this syndrome have many problems including severe mental retardation, poor muscle tone, coarse facial features, and a prominent forehead. They tend to have a very thin upper lip with a thicker lower lip and a short nose. Other health problems include seizures, poor feeding, stiff joints, cataracts in adulthood, hearing loss, and heart defects. Persons with polystercillian do have a shortened lifespan but can lead me to their 40s. Clinical Ter syndrome is a genetic condition that results when a boy is born with an extra copy of the X chromosome. Clinical Ter syndrome is a genetic condition affecting males and is often isn't diagnosed until adulthood. Clinical Ter syndrome may adversely affect testicular bone, resulting in smaller than normal testicles, which can lead to lower production of testosterone. The syndrome may also cause Reduce muscle mass, reduce body and facial hair, and enlarge breast tissue. The effects of thin filter syndrome vary and not everyone has the same signs and symptoms. In the end, children are precious and are gifts that we will treasure for the rest of our lives, no matter their appearance or flaws. Thank you and have a good day.